Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, the 13th of June, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Special Olympians off to Berlin. And in our feature for this evening, Hakim Huggins, the fastest man in the Federation. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. My name is Kathy. Um, I like to work out because it's a part of my lifestyle. I like to come in the morning. I like to get fit or stay fit. That is what I really like to do and what I really enjoy. It's a stress release. It's getting away aggression. Fit for me is having energy. Well, I'm back and we begin with cricket. Word has been received that Nivision and West Indies opening batsman Kyron Powell slammed a brilliant 100 over the weekend for his club, the Ashstead Cricket Club, which is a leading cricket club in Surrey. Powell scored 155. Meanwhile, Cricket West Indies, CWI, has announced the match schedule and venues for the highly anticipated West Indies vs. India men's series in July and August. The match schedule, in terms of the test matches, the 12th to the 16th of July, the first test match at Windsor Park in Dominica, the 20th to the 24th of July, second test match at Queen's Park over Trinidad. Then it comes down to the one dayers, the 27th of July, the first one day match at Kensington over Barbados, the 29th of July, the second one day match at Kensington over in Barbados. The 1st of August, the third one day match at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Trinidad. And then the action turns to the T20 Internationals. 3rd of August, 1st T20 at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Trinidad. 6th of August, 2nd T20 at the National Stadium in Guyana. The 8th of August, the 3rd T20 at the National Stadium in Guyana. Then the shift to the United States. The 12th of August, Broward County. Stadium, that's the 4th T20. The 13th of August, the 5th T20 at Brown County Stadium at Lauderhill, Florida. And so the action will finalize or flourish in the end in Florida. Now to athletics. Several athletes from St. Kitts and Nevis, along with coaching staff and other officials, left the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis on Saturday, 10th June, headed for Berlin in Germany, where the 16th edition of the Special Olympics will be held. The Nevis contingent got an official send-off at the Oli Pier with words of encouragement from Minister of Sports, the Honorable Troy Leibert. Also present was the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sports and Education, Mr. Kevin Barrett. The entire SKN contingent got an official send-off at the RLB Airport. Among those on hand was Minister of Sports in the Federal Cabinet, Honorable Samuel Duggins. The Special Olympics World Games are the world's largest inclusive sports event. Thousands of athletes with intellectual disabilities compete together in 26 sports. Nine days of exciting and inspiring competitions by athletes and for athletes. From the 17th to the 25th of June 2023, the Special Olympics World Games will take place in Berlin, the first time that Germany will host the Games. 7,000 Special Olympics athletes and unified partners from approximately 190 countries will compete in 26 sports. The athletes will be supported by more than 3,000 coaches and 20,000 volunteers. We wish our team all the best. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. You can lower your salt intake by reducing salty foods, removing table salt, and using salt alternatives when cooking. Well, I'm back, and tonight, athletics is in the spotlight. Hakeem Huggins of St. Kitts has established himself as the fastest male in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. This feat was accomplished on Sunday, 11 June, at the Nevis Athletic Stadium, when the St. Kitts and Nevis Athletic Association, SKNAA, hosted the Grand Nationals Meet. The meet saw participation from the top athletes within the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, including the overseas-based athletes. 
Huggins completed the 100 meters event in a time of 10.24 seconds to leave the field of eight in the dust. Nevis's fastest male athlete, Kamali Newton, did not complete the race as he pulled up with an injury about three quarters of the way on the track. Apart from the track events, which included 200 meters, 400 meters, 3,000 meters, 800 meters, and more, there were also field events such as long jump, high jump, and the javelin flow. It was not a bumper crowd by any means, but the athletic fans present thoroughly enjoyed the competitive events and responded loudly in their encouragement of the athletes. We take in some of the action from the 100 meters, and we also hear from the president of the SKNAA, Mr. Delwyn Delaney, and the man himself, Hakeem Huggins. Well, Tika Rogers, and in lane four, Hay Hayane Adams, and in lane five, Tikima Atzak. And we're gonna skip lane six, they have lane seven, Nikia Dolin. So we have Rogers, Adams, Isaac, Phipps, Doiling. Mm, sounds like five athletes in this one. Looks as if the starter is having some difficulty with his mic, so he's going to voice it down there. We'll just have to listen for the gun. On the 16, 100 meters finals, females. So, they're on the starter's orders. Even though we are not hearing what the starter is saying from this distance, they're off. And they're so, off. Let's see who is taking this one. Well, it's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a tight one. But pulling away. Definite winner. Finals in lane one. Under 16 Kalyan boys. Laws. Finals in over a distance two. of 100 meters. Holdings we have Laws. In lane three. Stephen Samuel Ezekiel Levine. In lane Thompson. Four. Of Darian course, Will Stevens. Harrison Nisbet will be in looking closely at Thompson. Akanye Samuel. In lane six. Makari Levine. In lane seven. Leon Thompson. In lane 8, Kirkland Harris, and in lane 9, Excellence Nesbitt. It's a full feel for this boys. 100 meters on the 16. Hold, hold, starter. the starters orders on the 16 boys over a distance of 100 meters it's the finals in this nationals track and field meet here at the Nevis Athletic Stadium it's just gone past 6 on the p.m. sun is still pretty much present here the sun will be setting around 6.43, but let's forget and that for the first moment. Time Where is Thompson? Where is Thompson? Thompson moving nicely. Thompson, Thompson is moving nicely. Thompson with a slightly. He's challenge. He's getting challenged. He's getting challenged. That's a great mm -hmm. finish. I think Thompson has won. No I think Thompson has won. I think Thompson has won. It was a sparse one indeed, my friend. I think Thompson has won. Huge PB, huge, huge PB for Leon Thompson Jr. I told you it was be Thompson a has won. Samuel came second. Samuel. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Senior girls over a distance of 100 meters. 100 meters. Dash senior. As Delaware mentioned, it's going to be fast. And I'm going to give you the lane. Lane two. Janaya Matthew. In lane three. Janaya Matthew. Kaima Rollins. Kaima Rollins. In lane four. Tejanique Morton. Tejanique Morton. In lane five. Chanel Crook. Chanel Crook. In lane six. Uniqua Pond. Uniqua Pond. In lane Pond. seven. Kayla Rollins. Kayla Rollins. And in lane eight. Anaira Wilkes. And Anaira Wilkes. Of course, I know Anaira Wilkes from the Charleston Primary School days. Certainly would have made waves there going right through Charleston Secondary School. So, just about to get going. The weather has held very nicely. On your marks. On the starter's orders. Should be out of the blocks momentarily. Starter doesn't waste a lot of time. Does what he has to do and does it quickly. Clean start it is. Our first time of asking leading. we see there. Let's see. Somebody said Chanel let's go now. Yeah. Slightly, but here comes yeah, is that Tom Morton, 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 Morton stopping well, the clock at the flash time, eleven nine one ahead so of Morton apparently one of the overseas base athletes. Pulling away. Wait for the official time. Eleven nine two. Twelve oh seven. Wallens. Twelve sixty nine. Wallens. Twelve ninety two. So the winning time. Eleven nine one. We stand by now. So it's gonna be the final race of the day. And it's the boys. Senior boys. One hundred meters. Senior. Senior boys, 100 meters. I'm hoping maybe they can run a 9.9 something today. And in lane one, the qualifying time of 11.39, Rondell Williams. We have Rondell Williams. Give them a clap while I call their names. In lane two, the qualifying time of 10.82, Kamali Newton. Kamali Newton. Qualifying time of 10.82. In lane three, with a qualifying time of 10.65, Hakim 10 Huggins. 10.65, Hakim Huggins. So you'll have to look out for Huggins. In lane four, with a qualifying time of 10.60, Royden Pete. 10.60, Pete. So that's and another fast five, one. We have Mr. Nad Nadel Bunting. With a qualifying time of 10.47. 10.47. Bunting did it six. very quickly indeed. 10.47. Mr. Rowan Hazel is out. In lane 7, Ian Leibard with a qualifying time of 10.72. Ian Leibard. In lane 8, Chesson Leibard with a time of 10.77 to qualifying for these finals. And in lane 9, Khalil Roberts. Khalil Roberts. Time of 11 point one. 11 point one. One. Roberts. So you'll have to be looking out for Bunting, Pete's, and Newton at the top. And On your box. Maybe Ian Leibard as well. So let's have a close up now. Final race of the day. Just about to get going. Not a huge crowd here at all at the Mondo track today. 
lots of other sporting activities around the island. We have Sick. cricket at Brown Hill, netball at the Stand up. Fall Star that netball at the Grillard Stevens Netball Complex should have started at six. We're gonna get there as well. Virgil Hatch has been doing commentary along with the president Delaney and so we're gonna have the final race just about starting they look a little tense up here everybody looking towards the starting line almost look as if they they are ready to have a run as well one two three in that order for the final time for the afternoon on the starters orders senior boys 100 meters this is it folks you'll want to think it's the biggest race of the day hopefully it will be the most exciting we've had some exciting races but this could well be the race of the day so Let's see how this works. Sit. Stop. What went wrong? I think that was maybe the microphone. I'm not sure. But a couple of the athletes were out of the blocks quickly. So I think it definitely was a problem with the microphone. Something went wrong and they're trying to sort that out. So I don't think any of the athletes will be penalized. Some folks are thinking that the call was too long for that final go. So effectively, this will determine the fastest male athlete in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis as of today. So let's see who that will be. Can it be Kamali Newton? Some people are already behind me saying bunting. But let's see what happens. A little bit of a hush. It's going to be real speed on the track. You blink, you miss it. And so, just about to get going. Starter. Again, tension, a bit of a delay. Waiting for that gun. Gun will go off. No, it's a clean start. Where are the athletes? Let's see who is leading. Let's see who is leading. This guy is quick. That guy is quick. And uh, looks as if somebody crashed out. So the fastest man in the Federation of Princess and Nevis. And the winner has been Huggins at 1024. It's Huggins. Good job, good job, good job. Hakeem Huggins, all 23. Hakeem Huggins. Champion, 100 meters, 10.24 seconds. 10.24. So it's Kamali Newton who crashed out, unfortunately. I'm with the man in charge of athletics here in Sinkison Nevis, Mr. Delwayne Delaney. Um, your thoughts on the Nationals held at the Mondo track this weekend? Um, excellent, excellent performances. I mean, we just saw the, the uh, fast, fast 100 meters all, all throughout the day we've had in top notch performances. I'm very pleased with the crowd response, um, the venue, the accommodations that was provided by us from uh, the Nila, Nevis Island administration. I mean, the support for, for this meet has been tremendous. 
I mean, you just mentioned the one with Akeem Huggins, but from the top of your head, can you pull some of the top performances for the weekend? Um, yeah, Nadal Bunting in the 200 one in 20.7. We had um, on the female side, we had Miss Morton one in under 12 seconds as well. And you saw even in the, the on the, on the 16 level, we saw some really good strong performances in the 100 meters as well as the 200 meters. So yeah. Based on what you have seen, because you know from a Nevis standpoint, we have a bit of a bias. How do you see the Nevis athletes fitting into the entire program across the Federation? Um, they held their own, very much so they held their own. Um, we saw, I say, Leon Thompson Jr., for instance, a, a very young, talented athlete up and coming. He would have won his section of the under 1600 meters. Um, we saw Tiano Leiber doing well as as well. So uh, we have Kimali Newton and, and Mr. Roberts and others, you know, coming through the fall, we have young um, Mr. Newton as well, Kaimani Newton. And these are some of the alleys we're looking at and want, you know, to ensure that they stay on the right path in terms of track and field. Yeah, definitely. Final words to the fans on Nevis. Yes, um, thank you for the support this afternoon and this evening. Um, we're looking forward for more action of the sort here for, at, at the Mondo Track Nevis Athletic Stadium. Um, we love the surface. Um, over. Usually we don't have favorable win at, at, at the Nevis Athletic Stadium, but for club championships and again for today, we have had fair weather, I mean perfect running weather for, for athletics and they have shown here this afternoon again. Well, thank you so much for the work you're doing as well, you and your team. All right, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm with the fastest man in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Just established it a while ago. Is that your best time, Hakeem Huggins? Yes, yes, it is. Definitely your best time. Yes. You know, you had a fast field to deal with. Who was your main threat in the back of your head as you started? Well, we had, first year at Nadia, we had Warren, but unfortunately he wasn't able to win the finals. So, those, I had those as the competitors. Okay. And uh, you pulled out very quickly. You seem to have maintained a lead all the way through. That was the plan? Yes, that was the plan of my race, my best part of my race, actually. So, I just going to execute the best and do what I got to do. So, where do you go from here? Well, we, we'll see. I ain't sure yet, but we'll see. But well, what are your plans? Um, Olympics next? I guess. Yeah, uh, when we go to qualify for the Olympics next year. So we'll see how that go. Looking forward to it, actually. All right. Well, you know, all about eating, exercise, yeah. the whole works. It's up to you. Yeah, man, for sure. All right. Well, all the best. Yeah, man. Thanks. God Appreciate bless. it. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.